No doubt about that. So much on the line for Oklahoma. The Sooners probably need to win out to have a chance of making the college football playoffs. Of course, they're going for a Big 12 title as well. But Manhattan has been kind to OU. The Sooners haven't lost here since 1996. That's six straight victories. A seventh in a row would be tough, though. Lincoln Riley, the youngest head coach in the country, taking on Bill Snyder, the oldest head coach in the country. Great start for the Wildcats. Second play from the line of scrimmage in the game. Alex Barnes straight up the middle. No problem. He is gone. Goes 75 yards to put the Cats up seven early. The Sooners answer back on their very next drive. Baker Mayfield to Dimitri Flowers. Six yard scores. We're all tied up. Early second quarter, OU threatening again, but check out the defensive play by Denzel Goolsby. Beats C.B. Lamb on the jump ball and somehow stays in bounds for the INT. And that interception led to this. Backup quarterback Alex Delton with a huge game. 21-yard TD run here, finished 42 yards rushing and three scores. K-State up 21-17. Second half, the Sooners a different team. Opening drive of the half, Baker Mayfield goes 14 yards to get Oklahoma within four points. Early fourth quarter, it's Mayfield again, on the ground again, three-yard TD run, 26-21 OU. And the Sooners go for two. Mayfield finds Flowers, Sooners up by seven. Later in the fourth, tied up again, but Oklahoma driving Mayfield to Rodney Anderson, and Rodney supermans into the end zone. Oklahoma back on top by a TD. K-State not going down without a fight. They are Wildcats after all. Delton to Isaiah Zuber. We're tied again with less than two and a half minutes left in regulation. Sooners are up to the challenge. 24 seconds left. It's Rodney Anderson once again down the into the end zone. That's a game winner. The Sooners get out of Manhattan by the skin of their teeth. What a great game today in Manhattan. Baker Mayfield with 410 yards passing and two TT tosses. He also had 69 yards rushing and two scores on the ground. A breakout game for Rodney Anderson. Nine for 147 yards and of course the game winner. Sooners say they were fired up in the locker room at the half and they sure turned it around in the second half. I told the guys you just leave no doubt. Uh, everything you got we needed. We needed the energy on the sidelines. We needed uh, everybody to do their job and, and play hard. You know I, I finished it up by saying leave no doubt. We're not going to come back in this locker room without a victory. Give our guys credit. You, you, you can either wilt or you can stand up and fight and our guys fought. We're, we're still getting better. You know we're still a work in progress and that's that's part of it. You see spurts of how good that we can be and we're, we're going to continue to push like hell to, to get it you know to the point where we can play our best more often. In the end, the Sooners did what they had to do, won the game, and they are now 6-1 and one on the season, 3-1 and one in Big 12 play. Now, coming up here in just a few minutes, we're going to talk about that breakout star, Rodney Anderson, plus the kind of inconsistent Sooner team we've seen almost every game this season. We're going to talk to T uh, Tulsa World OU beat writer Eric Bailey coming up in just a few minutes about that.